And we are back. Hopefully we are going to keep up the momentum of this channel with these videos. We're back to Too Fast, Too Furious Legacy. At least I'm pretty sure that's what this game is called. After all, we have been playing quite a few games, so it's quite easy to go ahead and forget. But let's go ahead and press play, which I would assume takes us to the garage, as it does. Here is our nice looking car, because we can have a look at it. When, I must say, when I rendered these videos out, or at least the very first video out, I was very impressed at the quality of this game. Because after I'm playing this on a small screen, so of course it's going to look good. But even stretched out, it looks amazing, I've got to admit. But let's go ahead and um, see what we can do. What do we press? Oh, here we go. We have a red button, which means that we can claim our daily prize, which is a gold car. Gold or car guarantee. Okay. Not a gold car, but a gold or car guarantee. Let's see what we get. I guess that's 75 gold. All right. I'm assuming that's going to be a nice amount. And then we need a day for that. All right. We aren't going to be getting any premium cars or anything like that. So let's go to races. And yeah, all right. We'll go continue with this storyline. Seems like, what's this going to be? A drag race? It's got a traffic light set as the icon. So I'm assuming there'll be like races, police chases, and drag races. Because there have been a couple of street races, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure there'll be like circuit races as well. But let's go ahead and continue through Miami. Hey, time to take it to the streets. Let loose some N2O. All right, let's see if I actually remember how to play this game after all. There we go, we've got a perfect launch. And now all we've got to do is just tap left or right and hope for the best. Which shouldn't be all that difficult. We should do alright. These uh, car sounds are very, very loud as well. You've got to edit them way down. So when the engine's revving out, just... Oh, what in the world is happening? Oh, police are after us. Of course, because we're winning. Oh, shoot. Because that works too. Smashing right into him. Alright. Oh. That guy drove in our way. Alright, the police. So, I guess we're not in a race anymore. We're just gonna progress 100% through and hope that the police don't beat us there, I guess. Oh, he, come on now. He moved off into our lane. Alright, let's stay away from the police as far as we can then so they don't do that stuff anymore. Those highly illegal maneuverings like to barge into us for no reason. Oh god! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> We've got a track that uh, was magically in our way. That was very high intensity. So, I'm telling you, Arsenal Robert, you showed those co cops what's up. Roman, alright player, you stay here with Tay and tinker with your car and deal with the police headaches. I'm going to fly to Tokyo and pay respect to our old friend Han. Meet me when you're done here. Is Han the guy that, um, oh, what was his name? So I don't really follow Hollywood movies too much, so I wouldn't know, but uh, I think that's the guy that died in his Porsche that unfortunately um, hit like a pole or something of the sorts. He had a very normal name, like a very, um, like a John Doe type of name. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back into Miami Heat. Take down now yet again. Uh, maybe we can upgrade our vehicle though. It wouldn't be too bad of a thing. There's global chat going on as well. Oh, waiting for server. Why are you waiting for server? I don't want none of this. Um, all right. If we click here, tap to change car. There we go. So if we go over to... what? How much does this premium stuff cost? We already had a look at this, didn't we? $130 for 17,000 gold. All right. So the gold's a premium currency after all. So what does the plus five do? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out. Anyway, let's go back. And go to... Actually, I wanted to customize that, didn't I? Let's go back here. And customize. Oh, okay. So we can customize it the way the aesthetics look. But I don't want that. Let's go back and click on upgrades. Because I want actual performance upgrades. I think that makes the most sense. Um, recommended. They want us to improve the chassis. So let's go upgrade that. It's going to cost us three upgrade points, but 
See, I'd love to upgrade the engine just so we can drive that much faster. But all right, let's go do that. The game recommends us to do so, so we'll do it. Go back to races and go back to chapter one. Hopefully there'll be more than like four chapters, one in each city, but we're yet to see. And again, iPhone games wouldn't really have all that much of a um, story one to them, would they? So, Tay, I did some digging and found out that the last driver you raced punked you and called the cops. I'm not telling you what to do, but that ain't the way to treat our family. Want to teach him a lesson? And we're going to teach him a lesson by racing him. The exact thing that he dubbed us in for. And he's driving a pink car. Smash into the opponent to take him out. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, oh, tapping. It's tapping right side of the screen. That's kind of annoying. All right, so we're gonna smash into him again. We've got to catch up. No doubt we will, though. He's gonna be driving slower than us, for sure and certain. Let's just stay away from everyone there. Oh, is that guy turning in? No, he's not, thankfully. All right, so we're at 30%. We're gaining on him slowly, though. Nothing too fast. Here we go, we've got some uh, nitrous oxide, so that means we can smash it into the back of him, hopefully. Beautiful. And that, my friends, is I guess what they call a furious takedown. Oh, I was so worried I'd smash into the car right in front. So, good work, lesson learned. We're why don't you keep it mellow for a bit and hit up Roman in Tokyo? Heard he's going into some drift action or getting into some. All right, so that's pretty cool. We're going to get into drifting then. And we also get some, I guess, currency in the game. Hey, Arsenal Robert, are you enjoying? Um, I'm just going to click no because I know if I click yes. Oh, okay. Well, I should have clicked yes, but I hate games that just force you to go into the app store to review their games and um, they take you away from actually playing the game kind of annoying but anyways we are back into chapter two yeah received a bonus reward do you want to claim it now yes why not so let's go to the store oh okay so it's a story reward use that let's see what we've got oh 20 more gold all right it's like they want us to actually buy a pro car or something Maybe we can have a look at them a little bit later on once we've uh, saved up a little bit more. But let's go back to races. Check, check out the Tokyo races. Okay, and I guess the normal is the difficulty then. I wonder if there's a way that we can go back into um, different chapters. I don't think so. All right, anyways, let's go into the race yet again. I do apologize for the sniffles as well. We are recording this early in the morning and I seem to get really bad hay fever. It is autumn now. So it's kind of annoying. So, Roman, we heard you were tight with Han. Family's family. We're ready. Well, we're here to pay respect to a fallen brother. Sean, yeah, well, you heard right. Han was my brother too, but I'm trying to put that drama behind me. Best for me to focus on what keeps me living, drifting. Let's get sideways for a bit. Han would want that. Oh, this is going to be an interesting mechanic. So tap your pedal to rev your engine. Obviously, we've got a launch. Pretty stock standard. So, drifting takes skill. Drag your finger to steer the car to keep it on the driving line. Nitrous refills as you drift. So, I guess we've got drag your finger to steer the car. I'm just going to keep my finger on the screen. Okay. Tap and drag to start drifting. Okay. Even though the um, line's red, I'm hoping I was doing it right. Okay, it's a kind of fun. So you just got to swipe the way that you want to drift kind of thing, or at least drag it. So the side that you want to drift. Maybe I'm doing drifting too much. No. Is that good? I'm not sure if I'm doing it right or not. I guess so. You win. I must have won. Oh, and that was a tutorial as well. Hey, you're pretty good at this. It took me a while to catch the drift of it. Oh, that is a bad pun. But I see what you did there, Sean. 
Really, bro? Can you get more corny? <laughs> I know, right? Alright, so that was actually a race. I was expecting, like, numbers to pop up, aka Need for Speed style, showing us um, like how many drift score we get. But congratulations, you've reached a new level. We've reached level two. Yay me. I guess there's six levels. So level up reward. Yay. Ooh, even more gold. All right. We're going to have to make use of that. But let's go race again on normal difficulty. And I guess because this isn't going to be a tutorial, we're going to be racing against someone else. Sean. The locals around here take their drifting serious. Word is they invented it. I've been running their drift series for a while now. Kind of earned the title Drift King. So, you're like the DK or something. You could say that. Listen, Arthur Robert, why don't you join the next series? It'll be a good way to remind the locals what the family is about winning. Right, let's go give this a shot. So, of course, we've got to put our foot on the pedal. Perfect launch yet again. All right, let's get ready to swap. How come he's right ahead of us? The other guy had such a head start. But we'll catch it up. He's down to one minute. Well, one second thirty, sorry, not one minute. I'm not sure why the line turns red. I must it seems like I'm doing something wrong, but I mean we're catching up to the guy. Although it doesn't look like I'm gonna win. So you lose. Oh. That's not good, obviously. So maybe we can restart. Or do, is there like a cooldown limit that we need to wait a certain amount of time? What happens now? I guess we just get right back into the game. Or maybe... No, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try this drifting thing out once again. Because those re that red line does definitely must mean something's going on. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Skip all this. Because we had a perfect start. And he starts out so far in front of us. gonna work all right so I think I need a faster car actually I mean maybe that's what I need to do they don't really explain it to us so at least we still get rewards even though we lose it which is also interesting because I guess we could just keep on doing this over and over again and um, rack up some pretty decent things eventually um, so what we'll do is tap to change car I still want the same car Let's go back and then we'll go upgrades. Here we go. And now engine 954 we've got of those blue credits and then six upgrade things. Okay. That's only going to give us one power though. Hmm. You know what? Let's upgrade the engine. And, of course, we won't be able to upgrade anymore. So, let's go back. And give this another shot. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose again. I'm going to really have to um, try to figure it out. It's definitely got something to do with that uh, racing line. We're yet to figure it out. Like, maybe I'm dragging it too much, maybe? I doubt it, though. Thanks. Let's hope for another perfect launch. Oh, late launch. Uh huh, I see it now. So we've got to stay literally on that. Um... Oh, 
on the racing line is what they want us to do. All right, we actually did get much closer to the guy then. All right, let's go give the Seattle another shot. Oh, God. All right, there should be like a quick restart or something. But I guess we can also keep losing and uh, keep getting points as well. It's not the end of the world. So this will have to be my last shot before the end of the episode, before I completely embarrass myself. At least we're finally getting the hang of things. So I think I was drifting too much. And like the game said, I've got to keep it in the green. I just thought maybe I was going too fast or something. Another late launch, which is okay with me. Nope, not happening. It seems like the difficulty just got a heck of a lot harder for whatever reason. And I guess this is where they want us to actually um, pay to get better vehicles. I'm, getting, I'm gonna have to read the um, reviews of this game because definitely the difficulty curve just got way too extreme all of a sudden. But until next time though, hopefully there'll be an episode three. If not, well, that's gonna be it for this series. But until next time though guys, I'll see you later. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Leave a like if you have enjoyed and we'll be back shortly with some more videos on the iPhone.